I think this Barris seriously needs to go on a diet. I'm going to do this trip with it. But... Yeah, and there's that bag as well. Mind you, this is for three days, two slash three nights. That's everything I need on one barrel, but I think it seriously needs to go on a diet when I get a spear in it. Mm. Take it all off when I get back. Work out what I don't use, or don't very often use, leave it in the van. And what I don't use, leave it at home. It's funny how it just seems to build up over time. This is winter, um, or just coming into winter. So I'm guessing that on the front there won't be, because I'm going to be using my new, my new bed, which I don't need that. Um, I'm pretty certain, it talks of being really cold this weekend, so I'm pretty certain that um, I'm going to take that just in case, that thermal cover, but um, I'm going to leave it in the van or leave it in the barra. And hopefully I don't need it with a new bed, so that would be one big lump gone. Yeah. Right, let's get gone. A different month, a different barra. We have scaled down quite a lot. That's the look from this side. I'll grab you a look from the other side and talk you through a few bits. There you go, there's from the other side. As you can see, it's lost loads of height, loads of weight. And different bivvy on there. Instead of my winter bivvy, we now got the back to the Fox, Fox Frontier X. Um, yeah, and the only other bag I carry is now my tackle bag on my back. Um, and I could still probably lose two of these carp water bags. So yeah, new beds on there, so there's no uh, big thermal cover. Nice, look. I know there's no marker rods on there, or spod rods, because um, I'm going somewhere this weekend where I don't need them. So yeah, nice and slim. So there you see it. The barra's lost more weight than me. And um, basically what I did was, uh, I was out fishing and I was with somebody who fishes really scaled down and I decided it was time for me to do it because we buy tackle and it creeps onto the barrel and it creeps onto the barrel and before you know it, you're taking shit loads and you don't need it all. And um, don't get me wrong, you know, if you're going for a quick overnight, you don't need a lot of stuff. If you're going for five days, you know, five days, five nights, or whatever, six days, five nights, then you need more stuff, obviously food, drink, tackle, bait, all that sort of stuff. So you have to suit to what you want. I have a barra set up for sort of every situation. <coughs> and so if I'm taking obviously more, I'll put more stuff on. I only like to do one trip to my swim. I don't like doing two and three trips. So for up to, so I would say, six days five nights I can get everything on one barra I may have to carry an odd food bag or, or drink bag obviously other than that everything else goes on the barra so when I do the barra what you've just seen is doing uh, three days two nights yeah is that right I can't remember I've been out so much just lately lucky me but yeah so it's doing three days two nights so that's sort of a normal for me and um, but that, that, that's how I'm going to use it. So what I did was, I basically loaded my barra, or when I come home, um, up from the when you saw the first video, um, how it was stacked up to the, to the hills. And what I'd done was I pulled everything off, the whole lot, and went through the kit. Now, if I didn't, haven't used it, it come out. If I have used it, but not used it in the last month or two, it went in the van. 
Um, and anything what I use on a regular basis every session stayed in the barra. And then what I did was, because as probably most of you have done, you have lots of bags and lots of pouches and lots of boxes and bits and pieces. I narrowed everything down into them so I made them pack as, as, as neatly into things as possible and used every bit of the space on the barra possible. So silly things, um, I used to take too many clothes now I've just got one change of clothes, that's it. I've got spear, spear joggers, spear hoodie, two spear t-shirts, two pair of socks, uh, and a pair of shorts. And that's all I take now, nothing, oh, a couple of hats. But that's it, but before I'd take two hoodies, two joggers, this, 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 and this, and it was too much. So anyway, I, what, th what, th what have I lost? I've lost a whole bag of clothes. I've left, lost, because I've got the new bed, which I've still got to review. Um, I haven't, don't carry the um, big thermal cover anymore because the, the sleeping bag, what I've got on the, on the bed is, is, is so good, I don't need it. Um, I lost a bait tub, I lost um, a food tub. Uh, what else have we took off? Um, I forget what else I took off. There's a few other bits and pieces that I've took off that I don't use. Now, obviously, when I'm on that Barry, there's, I've got my video equipment bag. That just sits on top, so I don't want nothing crushing it. But, uh, yeah, basically what you saw there is what, what I carry now. And it actually makes a difference to the battery life on the Barra as well. So, um, you yeah, know, it's a win-win. But it's so easy to just keep... You know, I'll take this. Oh, that's a new bit of kit. I'll buy that. Take that. Oh, I need I need four of these. I, I only ever use one, but I'm going to take four. Things like that. So, yeah, lay it all out. Go through it. Put it back on the barrel, and you'll be surprised how much you can scale down, which is going to make it a lot better this year because uh, I'm I'm off out with a few people this year that that do like to move. So at least this way, with less kit, we can move quicker. Um, but something a little bit different. Um going to be doing a few, I'm trying to sort of, rather than just do the go to a lake, go to a lake, go to a lake, go to a lake, that sort of thing. We're going to, you know, or just do tackle review, tackle review, tackle review. I want to try and do different bits and pieces. That's why I've done this as well as um, like my tackle storage and other bits and pieces along the way. So uh, hope this helps a bit. Uh, be interesting to see if how some of your barras are and um, if you sort of, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll probably do a little competition. I've got the mugs. I've, um, where are they? They're in here somewhere. What I'll do is I'll do a competition. So if you send me a picture of your barra and let's see how slim down or like before and afters type of thing. So how you used to be. So whether it be loads of stuff and you've scaled down to not a lot or you didn't have a lot and now you've got a lot. Um, send, me some photo, send me some photos of that. Put it here in this email don't send it to um anywhere else or in the comments or anything like that put it there and then what i'll do is i'll pick my favorite one of them and i'll send you a mug and i'll tell you what i'll do i'll go in the cupboard and grab one now because i've got uh, quite a few mugs in there what i do for competitions right so what i'll do is i'll go to the cupboard and grab one there we go i don't know if you can see that let's have a look there you go that's uh full of mugs Let's just grab the first one out. So like I said, send it down to the email and uh, I'll send you one of my custom mugs. Let's have a look what one it is. It is, it's the green camo, my, my camo I designed. It's got, so it's my camo. I don't know if you can see that with the light. Oh, let's turn the light on and probably be better. So, there we go. So it's the green camo. It's got my logo on the front. You got, uh, what is that? That's a camo paracorded handle I've done. Then on the back, you've got the bodybuilder fish. I'll give you a bend in the rod. So uh, all designed by me. I'll send that out to the one that I think is, uh, sends me the best before and after photo. So, uh, I'll give it a, probably a month or two, let it run, give you time to get out and get your pictures done. So that way, uh, in case you haven't ever took pictures of your barra, um, I do for a laugh and send to some of my mates. Sometimes they're a real piss take and put stuff on it. But anyway, yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it a month or two and put it on there and then I'll announce it in one of the, one of the other um, 
videos we do basically. So thanks for watching to the end. And remember, always watch to the end because you just never know when there's going to be a little comp that you can win someone free of charge. And uh, catch you on the next one.